Hey everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I use GIMP to color my pictures. And I just scanned in my picture. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened it up on GIMP. Um, the first thing you want to do is color correct. So go into colors and hit brightness and contrast. I turn my contrast all the way up. I don't even touch the brightness usually. Um, then the next thing you want to do is go back into colors and this time click Q and saturation. Turn your saturation all the way down so everything's black and white. Um, the reason you want to do this is because there's usually when you color correct like that it uh, leaves these little blocks on the outside that are yellow and blue and you want everything to be black and so it turns those little blocks into gray blocks as you can see on the outline of his hair so then I go back into brightness and contrast turn it up all the way again and then that turns those little blocks into black blocks and then um, you want to use your fizzy select tool and um, I'm just picking the color right now and then you want to select the part you want to color and I'm selecting his hair um, accidentally there's actually a gap somewhere and as you see I colored his face a little bit so I had to go back and fix that that usually happens a lot with um, when I ink stuff I usually forget to connect the lines all the way so I had to fix that really quick and I just use the pencil tool and fix it um, but yeah so just select it and then after you do that pick the color you want to use usually you want to use the brightest tone first because uh, this is actually going to be the color of your the lightest spot then grab your lasso tool and hit the uh, subtract button so then I'm gonna speed through this part right here and you're actually just selecting the parts you want to keep highlighted and so you know just keep going on through it and just um, just select the highlighted parts there we go we got everything highlighted then you want to pick your dodge burn tool set it to burn and I usually go over it twice with the burn tool and that just gives me a nice little shadow effect so it makes it look a little bit so it has a little bit of dimension and there you go that's what I do to color it and as you guys know, this is the finished product, and that's Gorilla from my comic smile.